it's Jenny from Homestead Corner and today we're checking out toilet paper coins. I have heard an awful lot about toilet paper coins as an alternative to toilet paper and I really was curious as to see what are these things and are they really that great? Are they affordable? I did a bunch of research and I looked around and I tried to find two different kinds that were um, the same size packages. So uh, today I have, I found these Porta Wipes and they come in a package like this and they've got a little fancy label on them. And these were $15. I was so shocked that they could get $15 for these. So I had to see what was the difference. They say they're a little bit bigger. There's still, there's 50 wipes in here, 10 in each tube. And I also picked up these Antifope. I figured these are more like a no name brand. And these were $5.99 for 50 wipes. So there is a huge difference in price. If you look around um, online at them, they really vary widely. For if you look for 100 wipes or 50 wipes, you are gonna get prices all over the place. And is the $15 one really that much better than the $5 one? Let's find out. So we're gonna look at these Porta Wipes first and see what all the rave is about. This comes in a little tube. There are 10 pieces in there. I bought a pack of five tubes, so you get a total of 50. Um, this one is wrapped in plastic, and it has um, 10 towels, 100% vicose, biodegradable, hypoallergenic, fragrance-free. Um, it says, add water, unfold, wipe anything. And there's a warning, do not eat. Yuck. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I won't be eating any. And it says to keep away from children too. I guess maybe a child might want to eat these. So they're not wrapped inside. It is just this little teeny coin. So we're gonna just drop it in a little, I got a little cup of water here. We're going to drop it in. Oh, and it's growing instantly. I don't know how long to leave it in there. All right, it's kind of coming apart now. All right, I'm going to pull it out of the water. We'll wring it out because it's dripping. All right, so here is the Porta Wipes and man these are I don't know these are so expensive to me this is I mean wiping yourself with something wet I'm not into that it's not my thing I don't like it so this I'd rather go get some leaves out of the woods <laughs> I've done that plenty of times in my life and I personally would rather have that than a wet um, moist towel but I know some people like that so it's what you like uh, this is what you get it's kind of I can see through it a little bit it's perforated I guess you call it it's got little designs in it diamonds but that is your porta wipe let's open up the antifope we're gonna open these these um, don't really say much on them, just add water, unroll, and ready to use, and then caution, do not eat. I guess someone must have eaten them. <laughs> I don't know. I always look at warnings and think, someone must have done this for them to put this warning on there. So again, we're going to drop it in the water, and it expands pretty fast. And we'll just squeeze it out. It actually goes pretty fast, so just you don't need a ton of water. And this is 
this is definitely smaller and it's got like i don't know if you can see the texture of that but like little bubbles it kind of like a baby wipe is what it feels like it this one actually feels thicker and as far as size goes i mean the other one is much bigger you can see it's got quite a bit more about an inch probably both ways so you've got a little more space there but this one is a lot thinner than this one so the porta wipes are bigger but thinner and the antifopes which are only $5.99 for 50 which I still think is wildly expensive I mean I don't know <laughs> uh, I think it's really expensive. I guess in the situation of a bug out bag, they would be handy. I wouldn't stock up on tons of these or anything, but a couple tubes in your bug out bag, I think would be a good idea for um, those emergencies. If you're stuck somewhere in your get home bag, something like that. But this is not, I wouldn't replace toilet paper with it. And I heard people, you know, if the toilet paper runs out, you can use the coins. Well, you could, but Good Lord, that would be so expensive because, I mean, you're talking lots of money. And honestly, we used to backpack and hike all over the place for about 20 years, for probably 15 years. My husband and I just, we backpacked everywhere. We were hiking and camping and that's what we did for entertainment. And this is what we used and I still, I'd go with this first personally myself. It's very small. It's a roll of toilet paper. You can usually find it in your camping section, almost anywhere where you find backpacking stuff, hiking, um, anything like that. These are two bucks. So, and you could definitely go all weekend on this one little roll for a person. No problem. Three, four days. Uh, it's, there's quite a bit in there. I think it says, um, it's two ply, 84 two ply sheets in here for two bucks. And these are $5.99 for these little wipes for 50. So you're only gonna get 50 uses if you can stretch this the whole way. And then $15 for 50 uses. <laughs> Good Lord. I'm way too cheap for that, but I wanted to check them out and see what was what. I think they're great in that bug out bag, hiking possibly situation, but if I had the choice of these to this, I would go with this every day of the week, not just money wise. I mean, it's just toilet paper, compostable. You don't have to worry about that and it works. <laughs> It works, I'm sure of it. And that's it for today. I would love if you could tell me if you have any experience with these toilet paper coins and what you think about them in the comments down below. Please share your opinions. My opinion isn't the only one, but it is what it is. So please share if you have any experience with them and what you think of them down in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.